Craig, um, New Deal agreed. Uh, happy to be staying, I presume, because in the press conferences you've been asked, you've always said you'd like to stay and carry on the job you started. Yeah, of course I am. Um, you know, it's a great club. Uh, and I love being here, and um, you know, the players and staff. You know, all, all you know, wonderful, hardworking people. Yeah, has it been just an ongoing process for you in terms of? You know, sitting down with Mike and Neil and going through where the club's going, so that you know what's happening in the future as well as what, as well as what they needed to know. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the board have been fantastic, and Mike's been really good, and um, I've had a long, long dialogue with them about the future of the club, and you know, um, about resources and budgeting and all those kind of things. And you know, I'm very confident we can, you know, go forward now and put some, you know, real long-term structures in place. Yeah, you spent the last 18 months putting structures in place, haven't you? And I know you've always said that it takes a period of probably three or four years to get things right from the bottom up. Is that, is that how it looks? Yeah, it does. When, when you go about um, you know, changing uh, everything, it does take time. And, um, you know, we've instituted a long-term athlete development plan, which takes three to five years you know, before some of these kids are going to be ready you know, physically and mentally. Um, you know, and there's other aspects of the club we're trying to change. And, you know, it's a long-term plan. But in saying that, you know, I'm fully confident we can get some short-term results as well. Yeah, in terms of the short-term thing, everybody just looks at the first team and, and winning and at times that's been tough because of the fact you've had half your squad sat up here watching games rather than playing, so that's been somewhat difficult to deal with. Yeah, it's, it's important to get continuity. Um, you know, if you look at the, the, the table, you know, most of the, those sides and I suppose the team we played Huddersfield is a great example is, you know, if you can feel, you know, roughly the same sort of side every week, it, you know, it does give you that momentum and continuity, unfortunately. Um, you know, we've chopped and changed nearly every single week. So, you know, now we're seeing you know, a little bit of continuity and we're hoping that, you know, our results continue to improve. Yeah. The absence of some of the um, older players, senior players, shall we say, has probably opened the door for the younger kids who've come in and now are kind of established as proper first team squad members. And that's, again, progress. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, young Liam Salt only turned 20 last week. You know, Jordan Cox only turned 21 a few weeks ago himself. And, um, you know, James Green, you know, is only a young kid and um, George Griffin. So, you know, what we need to do is find a balance, I suppose, between having those young kids and, and them learning and, and having those experienced players as well. Yeah, I suppose what you don't want to do is, if you can help it, is expose those kids to 27 rounds of Super League a season at their age and in their physical kind of condition. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, yeah, you can have one or two young kids every week, but, you know, if you start having five, six, seven, you know, it's tough for them and it's hard and it's a learning curve and uh, a lot of our boys will learn, learn pretty rapidly, so to speak. So. You know, now we're getting a couple of senior bodies on board. Um, you know, hopefully you'll see you know a lot more consistency from us. Yeah. I know you plan meticulously and, and look at everything in fine detail. Were you already kind of planning for next year and then perhaps beyond next year as well? Yeah, yeah in my mind, I was always you know planning next year and you know targeting players, I suppose. Um, you know that I like from other clubs and, and seeing you know what we need to improve ourselves. So you know it's, you think about it every day, I suppose. Mm. Is it difficult out there in the market at the minute in terms of players? Because we talked about with Mike Smith about the fact that the Australian exchange rate and the, the salary cap over there now means that the days of the big names coming over here are pretty much gone, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, perhaps. Um, you know, there's a lot of players in Australia and, you know, if you do your homework and, and research, um, you know, there's always one or two real quality players that you can get and, you know, you have to look, I suppose, Corey Patterson, Travis Burns to realise, you know, there are some real quality players that, that are there, but in saying that, you know, we, we need to have a good look around and, and see what's available and um, we're going to certainly make sure that we don't buy anyone just for the sake of it. Yeah, good young English kids as well. There seems to be a few of those kind of coming through the system now as well and again, they're kind of on the market and you have to be in there and chasing them. Yeah, exactly right. You know, we, we want to get as many English boys as we can playing here and, um, you know, we feel that's pretty important for this club and, you know, obviously ideally to be our own juniors would be nice, um, but, you know, the main priority of me is to just, just sign as many young English you know, players as possible and develop, being, develop them for, to be, you know, real long-term players for our great club. Yeah, people obviously looking at next year, which is natural, but this year is not, it's far from finished, isn't it? I mean, you're sitting seventh, I think you're, you're four points off third or fourth place, so there's lots to play for. Yeah, there is. Um, you know, we, we've given up. Um, we're going to, you know, work hard every week and, you know, we get a couple more wins, you never know what can happen. Yeah, just looking at the fixtures, you're going to have to do it tough because you're going to be away from home a lot of the time. Um, probably over in England, that's a bit more of a mental barrier than it is in Australia where you do play away and you travel quite big distances, don't you? So is that something you have to address with the players? Yeah, we, we need to make sure we, we improve our, our, our form on the road, so to speak. Um, 
you know, we've let ourselves down, I suppose, in a couple of occasions playing away from home. But, you know, we've got a few big ones ahead, you know, Catalan St. Helens. And, you know, I'm sure the players are going to lift for that. And, you know, you'll see some good performances. Yeah. What, what, what do you do now with the players? Obviously, brilliant win at the weekend. Would you rather be playing this weekend or has the weekend off come at a good time for you? Yeah, well, I suppose when you're winning, Brendan, you, you want to keep playing, I suppose. Yeah. But, you know, saying that, we've got a lot of bumps and bruises. Um, um, you know, it's, this week, you know, we're going to... Uh, train pretty hard, give the boys a weekend off, hope to freshen up and come back, you know, bigger and stronger next week.